Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tara. Thank you so much, Tara, for being here. Thank you for coming through. Um, let's get some messages for you to see what's going on in your energy. Let's see what's coming up in your future. And let's see what you are leaving behind, whether it's what you need to be leaving behind or whatever it is. Just what is. You may be just moving on. You, uh, It's something like you're feeling like you're stuck. According to the stones. It feels like something about your money coming through. Maybe it's it being dependent upon a source that is. <coughs> stingy, perhaps a source that is stingy with payments. Maybe some of you have employees, employers that don't like to pay your money it's like it's hard for them to just give you your money when it's time for you to get paid some of you could be turning to some um magician energy here to get what you want to get your money to come through for you sooner um you know <laughs> but um i do feel that your money will come through this person is reliable it's just that they just take their time and yes, it can be because this person is stingy. Like they have to squeeze the money out. You can when they pay you, perhaps you see them just barely opening the whatever and just barely you know that miser kind of energy. There's dark energy here behind this money vibration as well. It could be you, it could be this person. It can be you, all right? It comes with an energy of uh, it's a passion, it's a desire. A malice I hear a malice about money Taurus okay but I do I feel you are very strong here so I don't feel you're worried about any tricks that someone may try to um, attempt to play against you when it comes to your money what you're leaving past Taurus oh I forgot my introduction welcome in to sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here so i'm doing general tarot messages so all of the messages may not apply to all of you so take what applies and the rest let it fly also check out place readings for other placements that you may find in your chart and maybe you can get messages there so if you have a moon sign that is cancer perhaps check out your cancerian readings to find messages there for you all right the messages don't always apply and you have to really be in tune with the messages also you have to listen focus breathe you have to be here i appreciate it when you are here it's like we're conversating allow your guidance to help me to get messages for you that you need to hear now while you're here go ahead and hit the thumbs up button for me, I consider the thumbs up a button a compliment on videos that you find I hear attractive or helpful or healthy, you know, videos that you want to promote because hitting the thumbs up button, it actually tells YouTube, hey, I like this video. I'd like to see more content like this. Okay. All right, let's get started. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. So thank you for sharing the videos also. Hitting the subscribe button if you desire to do so. And uh, getting some messages out for you now, Taurus. Wanting to see what you're leaving behind. Okay. It's a new time. Is that a song? It's a new time. Someone may want to write a song. <laughs> See, there's this death energy and the three of wands and the ten of pentacles. Something changing when it comes to movement of your grandeur, your your exquisite, exquisite, ex, ex, expansive, luxurious, perhaps lifestyle, your dream. I hear vacation, job. The death energy is, let's get clarifications. This may be a long reading and I hope not. This is the past energy. The death energy is something moving out, clearing out. Some of you left friends behind. Moved on from connections that were not serving you. 
clearing out to welcome in the news. Some of you are standing alone on your journey, heading towards who working. You're in. You. It's the energy is as if you are with. It's as if you're diving in water. You're in work. You're in work. I hope that makes sense to you. I'm guessing where you're in work. You're involved in work. Maybe working on yourself. It's as if you're... Uh, it's as if you're just give, committing yourself to work. You're deep in your work. You're in your work. It's like, as if you're not paying attention to anything else except your work. Look, the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, child. Taurus, every time, every time, okay, every time I do your reading, the Pentacles shower. They rain. Okay? They rain. There's a need to move in a certain direction to focus. Um, hmm, hmm, focus on who you wish to become. The Queen of cups some of you are in love i heard that some of you are in love taurus possibly with a water sign catch the pisces or scorpio all right all right so in your past energy something ended something cleared out with the death energy left you standing alone maybe you left connections friendships behind with a three year waiting it's just It's not that you're waiting, you're reflecting. It's someone who emptied out their apartment and is just, you're standing in there and looking at this space. You're looking at all that you have achieved. So I do feel some of you may be physically relocating. And this energy within you, it's a new view, a new perspective, a higher perspective, a shift in perspective. I feel it has to do with love, with the Queen of Cups energy. It could be love for your family. It's not just romantic love, Taurus. Someone in your family may have passed and left you wondering. And then something twinkled. It's like you got an awakening. It's like one day you, you saw some stars in the sky that were unusual. Something magical happened, I feel, in your past. It's, it's, it's something that you don't really talk about, this experience. But something magical happened when you were alone and it's something um, having to do with the stars, the celestial body, something heavenly that made you start believing in something else. <clears throat> in your current energy, Taurus, I feel like, what is it that you want me to say? What is it that you want me to say? Okay, you want to know how to move on through out by how to get to how to get to your abundance you want to know how to get there there's something else that um it feels like you haven't completely cleared there's something it's as if you have the ashes of some of the, the ashes left the debris it's not as it's not as heavy as debris. It's not burdensome energy that you bear. It's, oh, it's going to take me time. I have to, for you, if you want me to clear this up for you, please um, email me. My email is in the description box below this video. All right. If you, you're the one that has the question and you want me to, there's something you want to know, but I'm not picking it up very clearly right now. There's many different energies of Taurus watching and so if you want a personal reading do email me all right <laughs> that's not a sale tactic it's true if you want that energy cleared up email me please thank you I feel like this will take a whole new spread for me to get through and that's gonna take a lot of time all right all right let's see what your current energy is feeling like Taurus I feel so relaxed uh, doing this reading. What's going on? I feel like you're chilling, catching a vibe, feeling good. That's how I feel. We have the, Ar the Hierophant, the Hermit, and the Seven of Pentacles. So, 
hair looks great. The hair front. So the hair front is tradition. Maybe you're, because I said something transformed you. Maybe you're looking at life differently. You're seeking answers. You're connecting. Some of you are very spiritual here, Taurus. You're seeking answers from higher, maybe from your ancestors, maybe beneath the earth. Some of you could be digging something. All right. I did mention dark magic up here. I feel magic energy here digging. It feels dark. It's not evil, but it's secret. Okay. It's something that's been done for you. Maybe you feel like you have to do this. You're breaking traditions. You're doing things that people probably would uh, criticize as wrong. It feels like witch with the Hierophant in the reversal. It does feel like a witchy energy that society would look down on. All right. But, you know, I'm not judging you at all, you know. There's magic in the universe. Okay, I usually do not take cards in the reversal, so let's look at these upright. Closing, I hear closing out a chapter. I keep, I keep hearing that for you, closing out a chapter. All right, let's see where this is going. We have the page of swords standing up, speaking out, saying how you feel. Um, a message coming in. A, could be a tough message, a swift message, a message that may knock you off your feet. But you'll be ready, guarded. You'll be up. You will also be feeling good, feeling fabulous. It feels like when you develop your intelligence and you feel like no one can test you. So it's that kind of fabulous energy. It feels like you know you're strong and powerful. You know you're intellectually brilliant. And so you're not afraid of debating anyone. You're not afraid of a challenge. It's, that's the energy. So it might shift you a little bit, but you'll be so fabulous with the energy when it comes at you. All right. Then we have the... Hey... Hmm. I wanted to cut and then we have the devil energy so I do feel like you'll be getting some sort of a challenge in the future and that's why I'm feeling magic playing out here I feel you feel this is coming do you know this is coming maybe you sense that this energy is coming toward you it could be someone coming back from your past I do feel like that challenge maybe you had to leave people behind and they didn't take it so well and now they see you you know with all of your pentacles and they're wondering what you're up to and they want to come back around seek you out wondering what you're doing and maybe they try to chant or do something um, it's like even an, an evil eye just think something negative in your direction you know but you feel you know this is coming and I feel like this is Currently, you're do I feel like you're doing protective spells. If you're not, like that's the energy here. I do listen. I'm just speaking. The cards may not say that to you, but the energy for me, especially looking at the Seven of Pentacles, I'm getting protective spells, and then we have for yourself. So you may be burying something. I don't know. You know, digging. I feel digging going deeper, going beyond. I feel even going behind a church, perhaps. Oh my God, this is strange. Listen, I feel even going behind a church, going behind a church. The energy I'm getting is going behind the church. And the church is like the, the, the idea of the church. So challenging the beliefs of the church, going behind the wills and the desires of what the church preaches and doing something out of the box when it comes to your healing. Some of you, this I feel with the hermit card, I'm getting graveyard energy, digging church graveyard energy. Okay, I don't know. And then in your future, we do have you being fabulous against some devilish challenge coming up for you. Bound. The chains here, it's like, it's like this, this it's like a spiritual energy, like, um, this this challenge comes at you lifetime after lifetime and you know it's about to come so whatever you're doing do i feel like do not look at the physical and think oh you're going to have, have pity or you're going to under underestimate a challenge you have to know that the challenge that's coming at you it's one that comes lifetime after lifetime it's it's just it's that kind of energy that challenges you it's 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 automatic and then you have to stand up against it so I feel you handle it swiftly. That's why whatever instinct you're getting to go bury something, 
or, or, or do some magic you'll see this coming master I heard the word master and it echoed in the sense of uh, like a slave saying master it sounded like how Smeagol would say it kind of in a pitiful way it's master master I don't know I don't like this someone it's it's uh, you know like uh in um underworld yes i watch a lot of movies in underworld where they uh i don't know how to say it, they revive the vamp the, the they revive the <clears throat> in underworld the way how they revive the vampires it's like someone is, is working doing something here and then the devil comes out it's like that energy like something be what am i doing here in this reading all right let's continue Wow, all right, and then we do have the death energy here. What is this Ten of Pentacles? Hold on, let me get some clarifications. Do help me, angel spirits and guides, to clarify the Ten of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands, ancestral energy, writing, writing, creative writing, legal writing. Ah, oh, I got something and then I missed it. Let's try again. Mm -hmm. Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Clarification, please. Devices. See the Seven of Swords. Devices. Plots. I do feel like your ancestor, the Six. You have family. You have the King and Queen of Swords. You have family. You have the King of Wands. You have family on your team here. I do feel like. I do. I feel like there are spiritual people working as well for you. It feels like maybe you, you're not aware. You know, um, the story here I go again. Do you know the story of uh, the the shoemaker? Is it that that when he went? Uh, the story goes: there's a shoemaker. He was poor, and he was to make a lot of shoes. He didn't have the time. He was old. All right. But when he went to sleep, some magical things like fairies came into his house and they started to make the shoes for him. And they did all of them. Okay. And in the morning when he woke up, all the shoes were made and ready for the king. And so he was able to get some money and start taking care of his wife, his old wife, etc, etc. So it's that energy. I feel like with the seven of swords and the eight of wands, you have, team, you have people working on your team putting things together for you with the ten of pentacles it's very spiritual i hear ting -ling 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 -ling. oh god i know i'm weird it's that energy where <laughs> it's like ting -ling 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 -ling. magic that's the magic i don't know how it what is the ten what is the ten of pentacles angels for it guys what is the ten of pentacles <laughs> The two of pentacles okay a spark a thrill it's all in you it's all in you okay all right all right all right let me tell you what this is you are I mean I like you because you are like this playful spirit you yourself could be one of the playful spirits that would come out at night and put and orchestrate something so that someone can someone else will be happy about it i feel that's you i feel i see you it's like you try to hide i feel your head is down and then when i look at you i see you are this playful spirit as if <laughs> i do feel you're in a garden you're bending down and burying something and this, you're laughing because you, you're saying to yourself, I thought I was like worrying about you and worrying about this dark energy. But when I look at you, I feel you're smelling because you are this playful spirit. It's as if you, it's like a Peter Pan energy. That's the ting -ling 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 energy. Honestly, that's the energy when that, that fairy dust energy. <clears throat> All right. It's that Peter Pan kind of spirit that, uh, it's that Peter Pan kind of spirit. 
and that's the team you have you have people on your team it's so playful over here and then okay then we were here and then we went here with the devilish energy okay and then behind the devilish energy we have the queen of cups hey okay the queen of cups repeated so i do feel you have a loving heart probably you got this from your mother your mother watches over you uh let me see what this is saying <laughs> it's i have to laugh at this devil energy i'm serious i feel like that's how you feel it's like um captain hook and he looks so terrible right look at him ah uh, like i was saying it's like that energy that comes after you lifetime after lifetime it's like it's all about the chase you know that they're going to turn up sometime they try to get at you and so you're putting plans into place it's so beautiful i feel like i'm reading the peter pan story here it's so amazing and this does look like peter pan right 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 and then we have the mother energy and this could be the fairy all right let me tell you what i'm getting here can you see these cards okay what i'm getting getting here is that uh this energy got tricked it's as if it it's standing in front of you it's about to, to charge at you or you know and then behind it that's the your, your mother here so imagine tinkerbell standing behind captain hook and with, with with a bigger surprise like she has a net or something that she's going to throw over his head while he's trying to get at you it's that kind of playful spirit i like it a lot it's not scary it's captain hook who is going to get got right here you know what i mean your mother is here she loves you she's watching over you she's encouraging you to stay focused uh to she, to continue with your playful energy some of you uh, i don't i think you there you're happy there's happiness and joy here that's what i like you're, you are connected to your inner child spirit there's something about growing up and maturity, growing things, allowing things to grow, mature, prosper. All right. Um, that's what I feel for you. Any other messages? Any other messages for Taurus in this time? Angel Spirits Guides, do you have anything else to say? Oh, hey. There's someone that loves you. They love you and want to say... Mm, they miss you could be your family ten of cups energy a family member oh three the three of hearts again this person is sending you love we have fire sign aries leo sagittarius very beautiful woman attractive dark skin magical intuitive Great. Maybe they want to. This is what someone wants to say to you. What do you want to say? Any anything that you want to send to Taurus right now? Any special message? Any special mes special message? Eight of Cups. Special special message. Special message <laughs> for Taurus. <laughs> it's the eight of cups it's like follow your heart we have the ace of cups the three follow your heart love yourself i hear i feel a big smile on someone's face someone is grinning at you uh like remember like in your heart with the eight of cups and the ace of cups i feel remember in your heart the happy times and the smiles remember my smile or something like that you know remember my face when i smile i feel a big grin okay we have a lot of energies of love here all right but the three of pentacles is money definitely money business work pursue don't forget to pursue your dreams the ten of cups again the ten of pentacles repeated Someone is saying, don't forget to pursue your dreams. Someone is advising you. <laughs> to not, what is this? We have seven, seven, six, six, seven, seven, if that means something to you. 
what is that six seven seven six of pentacles give equally um know how to receive find balance um stand up for yourself and this person is saying i got you i'm watching over you uh we have this yeah we have the sevens here angelic presence and guidance okay all right, we'll leave your reading here, Taurus. Thank you so much for coming through. I hope you got messages here that resonates with you and is able to help you along your journey. Remember that if you did, go ahead and leave that thumbs up behind on this video. Much love and respect for your show of support. Share the video with those that you come across that you may love. And hit the subscribe button to be notified whenever I post up new content for you so you can get more messages into what's really going on. Thank you so much for coming through. Much love. Remember that all is within you. You are all.